This is a new gift. Let me just open it. Anybody who has got this, you know, you have like one subject and one subject only. And that is dinosaurs. What's fair on earth? Dinosaur at last. Fully revised and updated new edition. And the prehistoric world as you have never seen it before. It's quite a large book, but handy, not heavy. Let's see what is inside it. I don't think dinosaurs were as abundant as they look in this uh, many reference works. They were as abundant as as any other animal at our age. Smaller ones more abundant, and the bigger ones are less. Don't consider cows and horses as uh, you know typical of other animals. We we actually breed them for consumption or for riding. Uh, horses less nowadays. everywhere that there is a dinosaur. Oh, that's so nice. You can see the tongue of the dinosaur also. Like real. And also the tissue inside the mouth. Like real. That was a tooth, huge. This tooth is this tooth, so your hand. No way, you're tiny compared to this. Kind of separate Europe from Asia. It was always a appendix to Asia, practically. There is no continent called Europe like the way you have a continent called Australia or Oceania or Africa. Europe is part of Asia. It's a peninsula in Asia, I should say. But anyway. The Greeks thought uh, they are the center of the universe. How selfish. The same. How out of touch, we should say. I mean, as such, there was no even such a thing as Greek. They were all C 
Assyrians and the Egyptians and the uh, Phoenicians and all those ancient people that existed. And the Greeks were not European, really, they were Middle Eastern. Asia is the hottest spot of dinosaur discoveries, especially in China. Mm, feathered. like something between the turkey and a crow and you know any other thing that you can imagine these ones were like more like hawks and eagles These areas are now land. In the past, they were just uh, little islands, like Japanese islands. But they gradually over the Cretaceous, and afterwards, they joined together. So you have mostly some land dinosaurs in that part, and mostly marine dinosaurs and creatures. As there is in the region is rich in oil and gas because of this. Uh, the richest parts of the world in the this kind of hydrocarbons. If there will be a future that there will be something like that, it will be in the Indonesia and Southeast Asia, South China Sea. They are having a similar situation of island arcs joining together, making a bigger landmass, like here. That was the way it was in the past, those areas, and that is was the way the southwest southeast Asia was mm. these are not dinosaurs anymore though oh they're, that's kind of dinosaur yeah they are, they look like whales they're not okay. whale whale like yeah they're whale It's like having a museum in your house. A museum that every time you want is there. Instead of being one day in a place like a museum. And that is safe compared to going to a real museum, you know. And then you have to spend a lot of money also. Kids will want this, want that. Here, you have it all. You make one initial purchase and that's it. You have it all. Oh, lovely, so beautiful, connect. One hundred sixty pages, beautifully bound book. That's a kind of like a dinosaur atlas, which I really love. That we didn't have such a thing in the past. Now, now we have it.